those magnificent men in their flying machines. They go up to the above, they go down to the above. Okay, I'm doing lettering now for the fuselage. Um, <clears throat> so as you can see, what you do is you just work out. I, I usually it's a bit of sign writing, I suppose, but it's not really. I suppose it's just me. So what I do is I just find the width, which is six centimeters by five centimeters, six up, five across. Okay, and it just happens to be the width for this ruler. So put it down, get a nice straight edge across it. Now obviously, it's covering it. Everything has to be backwards. It just makes it more complicated, but. You can write on the back of the covering because that gets peeled off the, the, the back intake plate. Pardon me. So, you can see this is a four. I'm just to show you, I've done the others. See, when you reverse it, there's the three. So, it's just a kind of mark it all out. You get a very sharp blade and then you cut round it and then you've got it. And then when you go to put them on, just gently peel them off, the backing off, so you don't split the film. And then you're away. No, and there's obviously two of each. There are one for each side of the fuse, and we're away. Okay, so they're all up there now. All ready to go. And this one turns out to be uh, the guy's date of birth and his initials. So, you know, which I can't remember his initials now. Is it A A E H 34? He's born in 34. So that's what we're putting on the fuse. So that's a bit of personalisation. Okay, so that's that bit of covering dealt with. Any questions, then please feel free to ask. Uh, it's a bit of a time to take it and work it all out, but it's worth doing. Okay? Okay. Bye. Those magnificent men, those magnificent men, those magnificent men in the flying.